Blue Eye. How y'all doing? Counter Barber once again. Um, as you can see, I'm in my mobile barber shop. And what we're doing today is we're going to show you guys how to be a very fast, sharp, precise barber. A lot of barbers aren't making the money that they need to make because they're not cutting hair fast enough. Now, granted, um, it is an art. You know, a lot of people find that you know they, they want to take their time, which that's fine. However, there are certain things that you can do to eliminate a minute here, a minute there. Before you know it, you're cutting the hair, you're getting these uh, very good haircuts out in 10 to 15 minutes. You're making a lot more money for it, uh, especially during the holidays and during busy seasons where you know you're going to have like an extra 10 heads to do that. Then, so you don't want to get overwhelmed or frustrated. You want to be able to you know maintain a cool head get those heads knocked in and out and make a whole lot more money. Um, I cut at least three times faster than the average barber. Cameras off. Um, not because I'm a better barber, but because I'm very, um, I practice being fast. I practice it. It's something I practice each and every day. And um, it's to the point where it's just a habit for me to be fast. Camera keeps moving. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna show you guys, we'll go back here and show you guys uh, what tools I use, and how I implement the tools, and how I'm able to use these tools to become a faster and a more efficient barber. Little tips I can give you guys to help you guys out. And um, time-saving techniques. So we're gonna work on those time-saving techniques. That's what we're gonna call them, time-saving techniques. One I can tell you right off the bat, Learn how to talk and cut at the same time. There's no reason why every time you you, you say something, you gotta stop and use your hands to talk. Yo, use your use your clippers to talk. Talk with your clippers. But anyway, I'm gonna give you these tips. Let's go back here and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what's going on and how to get this uh, this speed to make a whole lot more money and triple your income. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As promised, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do a very fast and efficient haircut. Get your glasses for me. Um, the first thing, before I get into this haircut, I'm just going to break down what I do. This, this is the uh, guinea pig here. Basically what I do is when I get a clipper, I never put this clipper down until I'm done using it. That's number one. Number one. Use the clipper that you're using until you're done with it, then move on to the next one. Because if you continue to switch clippers, you're doing this. All that movement is keeping you from being fast, believe it or not. That movement is, is taking time away from your haircut. Um, when it comes to fade, I'm going to demonstrate a fade today. A fast fade. And one thing I think a lot of barbers go wrong is that they... Uh, they're trying to make a perfect straight line. But is a fade really perfect though? A fade is basically imperfection to make to make to be made to look perfect. So, in other words, the line doesn't have to be specifically exactly perfect. A lot of times what they'll do is they'll go this way. And they'll make a hard line either with this all the way closed, which is this right here is the magic clip, but people do it with the masters all the way closed. They do it with uh, the trimmers, you got your trimmers. And they go overhand with it and make a hard line. What that hard line does is it makes it that much harder to get that line out. So what I do is I go in and I make a soft a hard line until I, until I flick it out to make it softer. So I do that all the way around very quickly. Then I have my that's that's my my chili bowl. That's my that's my guideline for the fade. That's where the fade starts. You know, um, that's one saving te uh, time saving technique. Do not make hard lines. Because when you make a hard line, it takes that much longer to rub that line out. Especially if you make it with a trimmer. Now, you do want a bald, uh, a bald spot towards the bottom of the fade. You want it to be balded out. But there's ways of doing that without creating a line, a hard line that's hard to get out. I'm going to show you that too. So, we're not taking much off the top. We might do a trim. You want to trim today? No? Yeah. We are? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to trim the top too. But I wanted to show you guys a very fast and efficient fade. Um, 
I'm going to show you guys a close up of what his hair looks like before and then after too. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is drink now. We're gonna start the clock here. Now you got a um got a phone on you? Yeah. You got a timer on there? Mm-hmm. You do? Yeah. So we're gonna have my, my client here. I'm gonna have him time me. Now there's a reason we're doing that is because this is something you also need to do, not have your client do it of course, but you have to time yourself. You have to be cognizant of how long it takes you to do a haircut. Because if you're time conscious, you're going to want to be more efficient, not waste time, and, and not do anything that's going to make you uh, take longer to do the haircut. So, whenever you're ready, you let me know. Haircut starts when you drape them. So, as soon as this thing goes over you, then you start. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. Cool. So, I'm going to kind of explain as I'm going. Really quickly, first thing I'm going to use magic clip all the way closed. I'm making that line. Comb the hair. Now notice I'm using the chair. I'm spinning the chair instead of walking around the chair. Why am I doing that? It's faster. Now I'll go from that. To my one guard. I take the one all the way open. I'm taking all the bulk out. And I'm flicking out as I go. I'm going all the way around. You don't gotta you don't gotta cut it a million times for it to cut. The clippers do the job for you. As long as you're going in. Get all that bulk out. Now I close it up a bit. The first notch. I go around again. Just a little bit lower than where I went last time. Then I close it the whole way. Just a little bit lower. Then I go all the way around again. Notice I'm just spinning them around. Adjusting this hair head accordingly. Notice I didn't switch clippers yet, right? The same clippers I've had since the beginning. Right? Alright, now, take the clip off, now I got the guard, I mean the clipper all the way open, now I'm starting to rub that line out. Now the best part about this is, I made the line with the magic clip, so since I made it with the magic clip, it's only uh, natural that I'll be able to take it out with the magic clip, doing the same thing, going all the way around, with it all the way open just to get, start lightening that line out. Then I just close it. I close it a little bit more. I go a little lower. Notice I'm adjusting his head as I go around. I'm not jerking his head, I'm just adjusting it. Now, if I got a little bit more bulk, I'll go in with my clipper over comb technique. Take any of the little other bulk I see. And as you can see, the fade's already in there. I just didn't take all that hair from below. Now that's where we get to using our, our uh, trimmer. We're not there yet, though. I'm just, you know, just uh, comb, comb over clipper. Clipper over comb, that is. Any bulk I see, any little imperfections in the fade. All right. Notice I'm talking the whole time I'm doing this. Now, I'm done with that. This clipper goes up, never comes back out. I pick up my trimmers, and I'm going to ball everything below. Right below that line I make, and I'm going to feather out. As I go closer to the line that was there, I'm feathering out. So I'm creating that baldness without creating a new line. See that? Look at that. 
simple. Very simple. People make these fades hard and not hard. They're very, very simple. You only need a really all you need is a one and a, and a adjustable clipper. You don't got to go from a two to a one and a half. All that. That's just it's a waste of time. Everybody wants to know why I'm fast. I'm showing you right now how I'm fast. Phase in there that fast, no enhancements, none of that stuff. Just a real fade with no lines because I really didn't create a hard line, which is why his fade comes out easily. Next thing you do, you comb out his little baby hairs, you know, you're about to do the lineup now. on that a little bit and see what I got. If I got any little bulk areas, I got my trimmer still. But what I like to do is, once I get the fade where I want it, I'll go ahead hit him with the, uh, a little bit of hairspray just to make the line a little easier to cut. While that hairspray is, it's a time saver right here, remember this. While this hairspray is drying, I'm going to knock the edges down a little bit, all the way open. done you can let that dry while it's drying I can go back here and do any little touch-up work I gotta do which isn't much because it's pretty much the phase in there I just want to be perfected and, and like I'm telling y'all you could do a, a very very near to perfect fade in a little bit of time it's just a matter of, of time management and what you're doing that looks good I'll see no lines in there maybe a little bulk you might have some, some bulk here and there but if you do it the way I just told you you're not gonna have no hard lines to fight with. And that's the problem that's what a lot of barbers run into. They're fighting these hard lines. Now by that time now the uh the hairspray is dry now. So now I'm lining him up. So what I like to do is I do his corners first. around do his other one. Look in here. Even it out. Make sure it's even. Very simple. We'll have another one on how to do you know proper lineups and you know things of that nature. But I'm lining him up right now, so all you need to know. I'll describe all that in a later video. Here we get sharp, precise lineups without having to use enhancements. Like, I'm not knocking y'all for using enhancements, but at the same time, it's just, it's not real. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's going to melt away or drip away in like a day. And then what you, what are you left with? Are you left with a good hairline? Like, you know, can you, do you really know how to use these edges and make a sharp line without without using dye and paints and all that stuff. You know, it's okay if you're doing it, but just know everybody's not gonna want that. Some people, you know, don't like dyeing their hair. You like dyeing your hair, bro? No, because you got hair. So then, then why we have that? So look, look, fade's done. There's nothing wrong with the fade. It's a beautiful fade. It looks good, no lines in there. All right, y'all, Cal the Barber again. Um, yeah, I just did a video on a fast haircut, fast fade. My man volunteered to do it again. Just so y'all don't think this is a fluke, I'm going to do this without explaining anything. I'm going to show y'all in real time how to do a fast and efficient haircut. I got my um, the cameraman back behind there. He's going to time it. Let me know when you're ready. And I'm going to show you how to do a fast, efficient fade. As y'all can see, he's woofing. Yes. He's woofing. <laughs> he's woofing. Terrible. Right? All right, now he ain't going to be woofing after this is over. All right, let me know you're ready. So, so everybody wants to uh, wants to say in order to have a great haircut, you gotta spend X amount of time on it. I, I think that too. I disagree. I believe if you're good at something, it shouldn't take you all day. All right. 
now? Like being in the fifth dimension. Yeah, not like, alone. Yeah, because things are not going to go back the way they are. I mean, worse. So it's like, this is perfect. Like, you can't get with it. Something's wrong with Like, who likes sitting in a line? Who likes sitting in a line? When you pull up with a spaceship, cut your hair efficiently, great conversation, atmosphere, and you like, what? I love it, man. Yeah, it'll be no better than this. You really answer your phone like why you cut hair or you know you know how some barbers you like you sitting there waiting for them? Yep. The barbershop that turns into like a hair salon type of setting where you talking so much, I'm in here for hours, I gotta get back to work. Yeah man, I got time to sit here all day for the haircut, bro. Nobody got time for that. For real, they really don't. Like especially like the people I deal with are tend to be more professional, more you know, right, time so conscious crowd, people. Yeah, they have you more know, time like you. Yeah, their time is precious to them. So they don't have time to be sitting around playing food, playing with a barber. They're gonna sit there and take all day to cut their hair. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And they want a great haircut too at the same time. Mm. That's the both worlds here. You was busy the last couple of days or how did they do you? Uh, I'm busy every day. Except for I wasn't busy yesterday, I didn't work yesterday. Oh okay. Was it yesterday? No, not yesterday. Uh Thursday I didn't work. Oh okay. I worked every day, but oh, just yeah, I took off, hang out with the family. You know how that is. All right. I don't celebrate, but I, you know, I still have. But to that's celebrate. how you make things go right with you. Right. Could have been selfish work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could have made some bread. People was calling me for sure, offering all this money. Right. And man, I got hundred dollars for you. Just come cut my hair, man. Nah, yeah. bro. No, cel celebrating the uh, Cowboys yeah. killing the Indians right there. Yeah, I'll celebrate the day. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That's I just, I just, uh, yeah. That's what we're celebrating. Eating yeah, pork with the Cowboys killing yeah. all the Indians. Taking all the land and stuff. Raping their women. Yeah, right. I ain't know when I was with the light. I don't know anybody. I don't know what they celebrating. Brainwash. Isn't that crazy how we made it a national holiday? Hitting the plain sight. Not even, not even a, a holiday, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Martin Luther King's back. Yeah. They make the national yet? Uh, I know people still, black people still go to work on more than this. Really? Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I do it. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. Right, we don't live in that realm. <laughs> You've been ascended. Yeah. You came up with this idea. I don't know you were. He was off the ground, he was levitating up. Mm -hmm. Everybody just catching up, you've been ahead of the game. We try, people are trying to, you know, copy the flow, but we understand is in order to do what I do, you gotta be more than efficient. You gotta be proficient, efficient. You gotta be weak. You gotta be on point. And it's saying, you know, it's not easy to cut hair. Before I seen this before you even did it, you seen it? Oh yeah, so I saw you did stuff like this. People visualize stuff like this when it comes to fashion. This won't bother you about the music. Oh, I can take it out. Oh, okay. Oh, you can do all that. You know how to do all that. Alright y'all, how long it took man? 
What? Five minutes? Shut up, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Come on, y'all. Five minutes, yeah, man. Like, come on, man. That's, Five minutes, bro. That's, that's, that's I can't awesome. give it all these secrets out, bro. Real talk. I'm going to clean his beard up and stuff like that, but. Basically, he's done. Yeah, he's done, though. That's the haircut right here. Bottom line. He's a shark. Jock, get, get a close up of this joint somehow, man. Get close up. All you gotta do is do like that. Like, you know what I mean? Get close up with this in real time. We ain't cutting no, we ain't cutting no cameras. None of that. We ain't cutting no cameras, man. Come on, I actually did this like five minutes, bro. A good fade. Yeah. And a lineup. That's what we do around here, man. Not playing no games out here. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Bro. You better do this in your sleep, bro. I do it in my sleep. That's what I do. You be dreaming about her or not? I dream about her because <laughs> no, no, I, I dream about women. I know that's right. So <laughs> show you right there, man. We don't play no games, man. Five minutes. Five minutes, man. That's all it takes to do a good hair, a great haircut. That's not just a, I know barbers can't even do that in the 30 minutes is this good. Right. What about you, man? You did the brush you on the top. No, I don't got no more brush. Like, you should see the older people when they see my hair because you know we're a little bit older to be doing the new brush thing. Is yeah, that what's your hair? What's that? The peasy head thing? I like you should see the new brush. called the peasy head thing. Yeah, because they're not used to the crazy. brush. You know, we used to brush and get waves. Now you tidal wave it. That's what they doing now. That's what's the problem. You were the first person to do that to my head, I think. You know, it was going straight, then you just whipped that joint. I said, yo, leave it like that. <laughs> What do we do, bro? Is y'all still on, y'all? That's what we do, bro. We don't play no games out here, man. This is how you make real money. Right, for sure. Real money, man. Smart, man. You ain't got to give a real percentage money, to nobody. Transformation if I'm a magician. The CEO, the owner. But I'm teaching y'all how to do this. I showed you there's a video on that, on how to be a faster barber. Free education. I just showed you without explaining it. I showed you just in real time what it looks like to be a fast barber. It looks like to give a great haircut. You know, and, and seriously, bro, you, you're, you're a regular client. He's not my cousin. He's not my, 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 my brother, uncle, none of that. He's, he's a client I met, and, and he's telling you right now. What do you think about the haircut? Oh, man. Uh, you see what I'm saying? I'm done. Yeah, and it looked good. He liked the way it looks. Barbara, you got to look down the line. Come on, you got three more. Come back later. All that. Y'all you know, can get used to being fast barbers, man. I never want to tell my three problem. times as much, if not three to four, I'm three to four times more than a regular bar. Three to four more times more. Imagine if you're making eighty grand now, and you get faster, you can make like two hundred grand, maybe a little bit more, two fifty. Maybe you don't got the. Come on, let's go. You got it. Let's go. All right, y'all. Yo, subscribe, man. This is real stuff I'm doing here. This ain't no joke. Thank you, brother. This is real. This is real. I'm doing it real time. Man. Fast forward, nothing. <laughs> I don't look like I'm fast forwarding, but I'm talking that y'all know what I'm doing for real. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We're doing big things here. We're about to be really big.